I want to welcome some of you to a new season in your life. And I understand that this may not be a message for everyone, but it is absolutely a message for someone. Understand that this season may look similar to a season you've been through in your life before. A season where you had faith, where you had hope, where you knew that you were in line with what God was telling you. But in that season, you fell. And one of the scariest things in life can be to emerge from the shell of your former self and become what it is that God has put in your heart, which you've known your whole life you're supposed to be. You see, for some of you, you felt God's presence. You saw Jesus walk up to your ship. And you said, Lord, if that is you, tell me to come and I will come. And he said, come. And you got off the boat and you were the first person in your family to ever walk off that boat. You were the first of all your friends to walk off that boat. The first of the people around you to ever venture out into what you ventured into and you began to walk on water. And you just knew that your life was set. But then seeing the wind, you sank. You saw a side of life that you never expected to see. You saw a side of people that you never expected to experience. And as you fell into the water, you said, God, save me. But you also said, Lord, why would you let me fall in front of all these people? And as God pulled you out of the water, he told you you didn't have enough faith. And you thought, how could I have enough faith if I've done something I've never seen anyone do? But understand that God is here to raise your expectations, to change your level of understanding of what is possible. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And understand that as he pulled you out of the water, he moved you to a place where you were out, where out of the eyes, out of the sight, out of the perspective of the people around you. And for you, you felt like you were in hiding, but really you were in your cocoon. And ever since then, God has been working on you, has been teaching you, has been shifting you, has been changing you, has been maturing you to a new person. And behind closed doors, you have cried tears, but you have also, you have also shouted praise and you have prayed and you have read your word and now understanding it is your season to emerge. It is your season to become. You see, before in your life you were a caterpillar and you were on the ground crawling and walking, but you knew inside of you that you were meant to soar, that you were meant to fly. In your entire life, people have been telling you that, speaking in your life saying you're meant to fly. And I know that in the last season of your life that you doubted it, that you thought you had it wrong, but you didn't. I'm telling you now, it's time to fly. It's time to soar. Whatever God has put inside of you, it's time for you to bring it out. If he told you to write a book, it's time to write. If he told you to speak, it's time to speak. If he told you to paint, if he told you to sing, if he told you to start that business, if he just told you to heal, whatever it is that God has spoken into your life, it is time for that thing to emerge. And I know that in that last season that broke you, I know that it felt like a lost cause, but understand that who you were is a shadow of who you will become. And never lose sight of what God can do with a shadow. See, he can use your shadow from your past to heal people in your future. And you must understand that for some of you, God is going to place people in the streets who are sick, who are hurting, who are broken, who are dealing with the things that you have survived, and they will lay in the streets so that they can be healed by your shadow. Understand that when the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you, that, that perfect and impossible things can emerge. He can put the super on your natural. And the question now is, will you trust him? Not just will you trust him, but will you trust the things that he's planted in you? 
See, this will be a season of faith in your life, but this is not faith that's based on something you don't know about. This is faith based on some faith based on something you've been prepared for for your entire life. I am calling you out of the cocoon. I am calling you out of hiding. And I'm telling you, it's time to soar. It's time to fly. And understand that no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper, even the weapon that is inside of your mind. There are 1,440 minutes in one day. There's enough time for you to begin whatever you're supposed to begin. There's enough time for you to have conversations you need. There's enough time for you to pick up the pieces, to clean up the messes. There's enough time for gratitude. There's enough time for healing. And the question only becomes then, will you take the time? I just want to tell you congratulations because this is going to be the best season of your life. This is the season where you begin to walk in the purpose you were born to walk in. This is the season where revival happens. This is the renaissance period of your life where God uses you as a paintbrush to write beautiful strokes on the canvas of life and understand that you are light and radiance and you are color and you are shape and you are sound and you are so many glorious things that God can use but you have to say yes. You have to understand that just because you fell before doesn't make you a failure. It just means there were lessons that you needed. Growth that was needed. There was maturity that was needed. And I'm not telling you that you have it all together right now. I'm just telling you it's time to begin to move forward in what Jesus has been telling you to move forward in. I'm gonna leave the music playing and I hope you will just sit and meditate on these words for a while. Down below, I'm going to leave some scriptures for you to just read as you meditate. And if this has touched you, if it has blessed you, if it has spoken to you, I hope that you'll leave a comment and let me know this message was for you. Just remember the air that is moving through your lungs and the blood that is rushing through your veins. They're the greatest gifts we get. Proof that you're still alive and God is not done with you yet. My name is Maurice F. Martin, and this has been today's inspiration.